Hello everybody, this is Excalibur with another IGLPR. This time it is Destroy the Monkeys by boop -a -boop -a -boo, these guys. They make up blue thumbs. Okay, well the first thing I want to say is this is a test build. Um, let's see here. This is movement or WASD. Um, guys, no. You need to get rid of this. Allow us to change it. That's the very first thing. Anytime you make a game, anytime you make a game, you need to put in keyboard mapping. That's one of the very first things you do. Put it in. Boom. That's all you have to do. Not, not hard at all. Um, other than that, so you got movement, and then your weapon is spacebar, and then actually enters escape, and then there's main play. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to explain what's going on here. This is an indie game let's play and review where I do a usability test of sorts for an indie game. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, I'm going to play and I'm going to critique the interface like I just did. Um, <laughs> number one of everything else is put in controls to mute or turn the volume down or something because that was really loud stuff especially when it's 16 bitish kind of audio like it is uh, when it gets those high notes it tends to shatter eardrums um, so I'm gonna critique the game as we go through and I'm going to uh, offer suggestions if there's something that I think is broken I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff like that and uh, we're going to uh, do a blind playthrough blind um, first play because I've never played this game before. Uh, guys uh, have been posting about it and um, I've been following um, one of the de one of the devs for a while now and uh, they offered to let people test it out so I said hey I'll, I'll try it out. So we're gonna go through we're gonna do all the critique and review it um, and then at the end we're gonna give a score of one to five and half star increments where it describes if I had fun um, and if I would recommend it to others and if I'd play it again. Uh, it has nothing to do with technical um, skill, graphics, or sound, or anything like that. Uh, the whole thing is, did I have fun? It could all be ASCII art for all I care. If it's fun, it's fun. So uh, we're going to go straight into play um, in, a, in a minute and we're going to do 20 to 30 minutes worth of gameplay. We're going to keep playing and playing and playing until the game dies or whatnot. So here we go. I'm going to start the recording now and we're going to go ahead and play. Alright. Okay, so you shoot bananas and you're in your banana. Oh, okay. I lost. The monkeys rule the galaxy and human and humanity perishes. Now, quick question. Why is there only one life? Why don't you start off with three like almost every other game in existence? Okay. So, this is a lot like a space invader. Shoot them up. Alright, and that's all like bombs and stuff. Oh, and you can hold down space instead of... Oh, and there goes my shields. So maybe that's what the lives are. We're destroying those monkeys. And they're shooting cakes. Or is that poo? Monkey poo. Oh, that one frustratingly evil monkey head is still there. Oh, and it wraps. Okay, well that makes things a little bit different. All right, Neptune Wave Two. Oh, well, at least they got a higher score. Uh, so far, the graphics are um interesting. We're, we have to destroy all the monkey heads. Now, giant evil flying monkey heads are are kind of interesting, I guess. Why we're being attacked by them? Now it'd be cool if you were in a human ship and the monkeys were flying the banana ship and you're trying to destroy the banana ships. 
Uh, it'd also be cool if the heads got closer and closer and closer a la Space Invaders or Galaga or Galaxian. That would be really fun. Really, really, really fun. And I just remembered one of my favorite shoot 'em up games of all time was Gyrus. Um, make a default action and have it highlighted so that when you hit enter, it immediately goes into play again. Um, I, I also want to be able to move forward. And I want to see more power-ups come at me. Um, like shield renewals more often because I'm already out of shields because there's a lot of uh, monkey turds flying at you. Those are some stinky weapons that they're shooting. I'll tell you what. I would also like to see some sort of power up. Now, um, monkeys like, m or chimpanzees anyway, like more food than just bananas. So I, I think it'd be cool if you had like apple bombs or other kind of fruit <laughs> that uh, would give you uh, more destructive power. There we go. And we got shields back up. Um, it would be interesting if there's a way to get more shields than that, just that one power up in this stage. And I'd like to see flying monkey heads come at you instead of just go back and forth. Alright. Oh, and there's some pirate monkeys, which are which I didn't see in the last stage. Oh, I have no more shields, and so I explode in fart power. Oh, uh, poor human. It's a poor human He's sitting there with his glasses all broken and his nice, nicely tailored beard. I wish I had a beard like that. I look so handsome, and girls do let me touch their shoulders, you know. Yeah, strange commentary is uh, um, is different is uh, is is free. Well, this this whole IGLPR business is free as well. Now, one of the things is after uh, I've done an IGLPR for somebody, and I just started this recently, is I will go back and do an IGLPR revisited, and that is where I will do a live stream of a game after I've played it because one of the things is. Um, I can't do another IGLPR really unless the game changes a lot. I mean, like if a star, um, let's take a Starbound for instance. If it went from science fiction to fantasy, and I was doing an IGLPR of it, then I would of course do another IGLPR because uh, um, it's genre changed and if the mechanics in it changed if it decided that it was going to go against um, and beat up Terraria um, in, in that field then that would be completely different Woo um, game from what I played and, uh, And there we go. Bombs! Okay, so now we have cowboy monkeys. And I lose. Humanity perishes again. We're just going to go into practice mode and see what practice is. So, okay, let's, let's go ahead and storm and see what this is. Mars, the turd storm. I wonder if this is... Whoa. Oh, okay. Now you can move around. That That's something different. Yeah. Turd storm. Now let's see here. King. Jupiter the king. Where's his power bar? Oh, 
Oh, he ate me. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really... Oh, and I hit play again. So we'll play again. Um, Neptune Wave 1. What's this? I couldn't move forward before. Now I can. That's, that's odd. Okay, well, that changes things, because now I can get up in their monkey face and smack them with monkey and banana foods. Let's play again. Have you always been able to move forward? Because uh, I tried before, and I couldn't. Well, I guess you can. That, that makes my uh, previous assessment of the game a little bit different. Because if I can move forward, I can die faster. You see how that works? Um, what I would really like to see is gamepad support because that would just be pure, utter awesome and make it a lot easier to play the game. Um, especially since I like to control the ship with my left hand and using WASD is not the way I do it. WASD is uh, the lazy man's way of saying, hey, we played Quake once in a while and then we followed everybody else who, uh, whoever wrote a game in the history of games and copied their crappy ass control scheme. Um, any game that uses WASD is a crap game in my opinion um, because I use the home row. Uh, that's a, a term used in typing that refers to the letters um, A, S, D, F, J, K, L, and the semicolon. Uh, I learned to type when I was in high school, and uh, and it was touch typing. There we go. We got the shields again. It was touch typing, and I'll tell you, it was a lot. It's a lot easier for me to just put my fingers on those letters rather than trying to figure out how to use WASD, because uh, moving my finger um, a little bit ahead of everything just does not work. Oh, I'm doing a little bit better anyway. Maybe it was a paractus against King that got me to do this better, huh? I don't know. I don't know, as uh, the lovely Corrales would say. Now, one of the things that I see here, this is an early game. So I would really like to see you put in uh, um, different options, audio options for sound effects and for music. Well, that was fortuitous. Well, that was not. It was like two uh, poop bombs hit me at the same time there. Okay. Woo! Uh, this, this situation is kind of crappy if you ask me. <laughs> I can see that there's different types of weapons coming, and I just saw a bullet go by, I guess, from the cowboy monkeys. Are they space cowboys? Go ahead and come over here. And that was cool how that um, one shooting starish looking thing was being protected by the green shoot shooting starish thing kind of thing. There we go. And whoa, we got some more stuff coming. Now we've got. Oh, and we've. All right, now this is this is what I want to see. I want to see. Oh, me die again! <laughs> uh, let's go back into practice and let's look at the queen. Oh, a monkey with lipstick is always a sexy thing. No. Yeah, I was gonna say with the shields, getting the extra shields didn't it'd be cool if they turned them into super shields. Uh oh. There we go. And we got like commando monkeys and uh, martial arts monkeys and a couple of those. So the twins. Oh, okay. Repoo and poo poo, I guess their names are. There we go. Well I got one of them! <laughs> And the guards. We'll go through each of these. 
All right. So a bunch of different monkey poop heads that are pooping on you, shooting their monkey poop out of their monkey mouths. Then there's Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, not Uranus, because that's something different. You don't want people probing. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, the game in a nutshell. I'm going to go back and I'm going to play some more normal game. Shit ya cow. And then we're going to go ahead and give our um, assessment. Overall, uh, the graphics are pretty cool. I wish I wish they weren't monkey heads. I mean, I wish they we were fighting banana ships. Or other um, monkey-related paraphernalia kind of ships. I wish we had uh, multiple lives instead of just the one. Because it's a little frustrating um, to go through. And, uh, I mean, you've got the shields and, yeah, that protects you. But even in uh, woo -hoo 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 -hoo, um, Space Invaders, you've, you've got your... Uh, number of lives now the number of lives is like what every monkey programmer in the world does hey they, they did three lives we'll have three lives kind of thing um, a certain number of lives for the game uh, the shields are a little bit different and it gives you pretty much the same thing it doesn't stop the action with having you restart the level or anything like that so that's that's cool but still it is frustrating when you don't get power-ups throughout an adventure uh, a level. So here we are, we're, we're sitting there going, yeah, look at that, we have no more shields, and we have to wait until the shields drop all the way down the screen. One of the things I like about games like Arkanoid, um, you might know it as Breakout or Super Breakout, but Arkanoid is a little bit different because it gives you power-ups that give your ball um, different abilities, or gives your um, the paddle, and there we go, the little poop got us. Uh, or gives a, um, the paddle special abilities like lasers or teleportation or whatnot. Um, it would be really cool if there were special monkey heads sitting there in the entire thing. I know you've got a lot of special monkey heads, but uh, maybe you uh, change the color of the eyes of one of the monkeys. Um, he's, a, he's an agent for the humans. And the other monkeys just don't know it. And when you destroy that monkey, uh, you get um, a power-up that drops down. And the power-ups could be anything from like, okay, you go from shooting bananas like this to uh, peeled bananas. And there we go. Um, but the thing I see here is I would really, really rather see... Um, the monkeys piloting the banana ships and humans piloting a human ship. And I would like to see more bullets from the human ship going out and a more varied... Uh, here I am saying more varied and they're shooting those little green asteroids and stuff and the shooting stars. Um, I'd like to see more varied weaponry coming from even the normal monkeys. So each rank of monkey head or monkey ship gets you a different weapon that comes out or something like that. And I would also like to see when the, whenever a row of monkeys is uh, destroyed, have it Tetris down. So say I destroy the entire first row here, have all the monkeys behind them move up a row. Um, also, with power-ups like the shields, you get fresh shields, it looks like, at the beginning of each round. Um, I would really like to see the, um, the shields get like a super ability for a short time if you have, um, if you have shields. So, look at me, I've got two shields now. Um, if I got another shield booster, then I, I would like to see the shields become super shields that can take more hits than just the standard three. Um, okay. 
or refill up to uh, the standard three plus a little bit more. Uh-oh. There we go. Get those shields. And those shields are going to go away really, really soon here. And we are going to see. Now, this is... I, I, I think I saw them just come down a little bit there. Um, whoa. Didn't want to move there for a second. Both fingers were down. Oh, just like that. Both fingers... Both fingers went down on the um, keyboard at the same time. So I think we've played enough of the game. Overall, it's a, a shmup or shoot 'em up. That's my take on it. You're playing your humans over here on your, on your right. And uh, you're trying to destroy the monkeys and get all the way to my email. Uh, you're trying to destroy the monkeys and get all the way to um, the outer planets and make sure they don't destroy the solar system. So I think there's a lot that can be done. Um, I would like to... I, I hate zombies, but I'd like to see zombie monkeys pop up that start eating the monkey brains and get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, I think that would be kind of funny if you shot um, a biological agent in the middle of the monkeys, turned one of them... Uh, gave them a chance to turn into uh, zombie monkeys that went around and ate the monkeys and you have to fight the big monkey. Um the big zombie monkey before it turns all the humans into zombie monkeys. Uh, I think... I sort of like the monkey heads, but I think it would be more um, more fun if the monkeys were flying the banana plane, or the banana ship, and you were flying a human ship. Um, I also want to see more power-ups. I, I get the shields and all that, um, but I'd like the shields to have more meaning when you go in with full shields and you pick up another shield booster I'd like to see super shields pop up around that can take a bunch of hits for a short time so you can survive the big <laughs> crap storms that happen um, and if uh, you happen to look like there's uh, two levels of shields so say you have one level of shields and you get the shield booster it fills up your shields and then gives you a shorter um, unlimited booster um, if you have full shields, it gives you a longer unlimited booster, and if you have no shields, it gives you full shields. I think that would be a little bit better for the shields. I would like to see uh, um, monkey double agents in the monkey f in the monkey storm that uh, have a different color eye, say maybe blue or green or something like that, something that differentiates them from the evil monkeys. And whenever you hit them, you get a power up, and the power ups can be anything from apple bombs to pineapple bombs. A pineapple bomb would be even more fun because that goes back to quake so you destroy those things with your pineapple you know uh, you get coconut missiles that can um, clear out a column of monkeys if you hit it just right uh, you get any types of fruit really you get bananas kiwis um, star fruits and have the star fruits explode into a uh, star patterns and um, then you shoot melons and monkeys just want to numb on the melons and that's a nice plan where it's too for, for adult humor. Um, it would also, I know this is a, a top down, so you're at the bottom and you're shooting up. Um, I'm still reminded of Gyrus. Um, Gyrus is one of my all time favorite shooting games and uh, that allows you to go around the outside of the screen. Um, all the way around the outside of the screen. So you can take the um, two-dimensional aspect of the game from shooting up that bottom to top and make it so that you shoot from bottom left to right or whatever inward. And you can just cycle around the monkeys if you want to. If you get a power-up that lets you do that, that would be awesome. You have an opportunity here to look at all the past shooters that shared this, like Centipede. Um... And you've got Gyrus and Galaxian and Space Invaders and, oh boy, let's see here, uh, I can't even remember all of them, but you could take and combine a whole bunch of those things and turn each one into a different style of gameplay. Like, you could have flying monkeys that have little bat wings, um, or a little Hermes helmet that lets them, uh, fly at you and shoot you from any angle um, you could set it up so that there's a, a monkey that um, 
spins the screen so you're doing a side shooter um, or you do a top down shooter or you get hit with a special monkey bomb that um, reverses your controls you know you could have a lot of fun with this and uh, I think you're on the right track um, the, the niggling issues I have with uh, the interface are controls allow us to map them please because that would be so much better better yet um, immediately support a controller right out of the box let me go ahead and plug my controller in. I just recently upgraded my machine so I'm gonna grab my controller and plug it in and see if the game recognizes it we'll see so apparently those uh, glowy things are good and I'll play again to see what's going on with that and there's my controller plugged in it's detecting player one all right let's see here and no um, it doesn't accept the controller it could be I have to start the game with the controller plugged in um, I don't know at this point we'll have to check that out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and play and we're gonna take a look and see what those green things do um, because I could be missing something important to gameplay because I've been avoiding all the crap that's been shot at me including all right so that wrapping sort of catches me off guard alright let's see if we can find another one of those green things there we go um, I don't know what that does does that give you more maybe it increases the number of weapons you have or I mean bull, uh, bananas that go out I don't know we'll have to see so do we keep the no we don't keep the banana storm okay and I did not get the power up but I wrapped and died we'll try it one more time um allow us to skip past the um that little splash screen that's that's another niggling thing if you don't let us just get straight to the gameplay it's not all that good and I just lost both of my shields right then and there so the green things are good it looks like I suddenly have more banana power yeah okay so you do allow us to shoot more more bananas um, so that is cool uh, I should have paid attention to that uh, I don't even know what that is is that a kiwi or is that a monkey butt a glowing monkey butt I don't know I don't know so there's all that um, in terms of audio allow us to mute the music um, allow us to uh, um, set the volume at the very least because I had to go to system volume and change also side effects as well that it would be nice if we could uh, adjust that ah <sighs> menus are all okay they they do what they do and uh, they light up and you can see what you clicked on and everything so that that's perfectly cool so hmm not much more I can say about that in terms of fun I'd have to go middle of the road 2.5 on this out of five because uh, yeah, it's a shooter it's a shooter and it's it's got a silly theme which it's meant to have it looks like so um, 2.5 is probably about the middle that's that's best maybe a three now that I know what the the green wafer thingies and uh, are and that I can move forward um, and let's say here doom for the human inhabitants of earth I, I thought I saw something else about space invaders details surrounding rise monkeys still unclear but what 
is known is that billions were slaughtered remaining humans scratched pitiful existence expendable slaves to the brutal and merciless monkey overlords all hope is now lost several world war six blah 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 you can read this I don't have to be the commentator on that part all the colonies technologies Narcluit Hmm, okay. Okay. You know, this whole little uh, thing here that we're reading. Um, it would it'd be more fun if you did it in like the Star Wars scroll thing. So that uh, you could see it all go by. And that fashion, instead of having to wait for it to go through and everything. I wonder if you can click. Nope, you can't click, you can't space. Alright, um, and the other thing is, um, have a default action and allow you to click start or hit enter to immediately do it, like play. So, if I hit enter, it plays, or if I hit start on the controller, it, it goes into play. Um, otherwise, you just, oh, and you have to mouse it, you can't use cursor keys. Set it up so you can use cursor keys to navigate the menu as well. Uh, because uh, um, that would make things a lot easier and my fingers immediately went to the home row by the way okay did I accidentally blow that up there we go get the banana storm going Oh, it's a limited time banana storm. Okay. That makes sense now. <laughs> oh, and the banana storm is not going to uh, follow us here. So I, I might actually do a little bit better with this run than the previous and now that I know what the banana storm green things do it makes it a little bit easier to do now I'm back to the normal yeah it's, it's a little bit more playable with the banana storm so had I known that the things were a lot um, a lot shoot more shooty with that I probably would have done better in initially may as well use it right here we go oh so Galaxian was one of the uh, games uh, I had mentioned gyrus Gyrus was fun. Um, I loved Gyrus. I played it almost constantly when I was a kid and I had my Commodore 64. Okay, doing a little bit better. So we're way forward with the Kamikaze Monkeys, I think it is. I think I may have found a bug. Ha ha ha! So see what happens when I keep playing? Um, I somehow lost all my shields at the same time and got hit by the monkeys and now I have no ship. So that's kind of a, um, a bug there. And I see that the monkeys are getting closer and closer and closer to the bottom of the screen. We may have to wait until it hits the bottom. Let's see what happens when Kamikaze Monkey gets to the bottom of the screen. Yep, you lose. So that is a bit like uh, um, Space Invaders anyway. 
All right, so I found a bug for you guys. Hooray! So until next time, enjoy playing games. Enjoy playing... Destroy the monkeys. Um, I wish there were some nice monkeys that helped you. That would be so much more fun. And uh, it would be cool if you could move the ship here on the main screen by left and right, left and right. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. It really helps me to know if you guys are enjoying these L IGLPRs or any of my other videos. And uh, I can then start... I'm being distracted by Space Invaders and the music. And uh, it helps me to understand what content you guys are interested in and what presentation I did in the videos that you're liking that may have been a contributing cause to you liking them. And if you could take a moment and please visit www.patreon.com slash ExcaliburZone and become a patron of mine. That would be awesome. A supporter. Um, even one dollar a month helps immensely because one half of all the net proceeds that I get from Patreon go to charity. The other half go to me um, improving my equipment, getting better software, and that kind of stuff. But for the most part, um, it's it's about the charity. And also, uh, if you support me, that gives me um, more and more time to make more and more videos and more and more content. So keep that in mind. As always, this is Excalibur, and I am out.